Hi, I'm Scott Greenwald from JoomlaDirect.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transfer your Joomla site from your local host up to your live hosting account. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's, it's actually really simple. And we're going to do it without any third-party extensions whatsoever. We're, we're going to do it the old school manual way. So uh, let's go ahead and roll up our sleeves and, and get into this. Here's my lovely Joomla 2.5 site on localhost. So um, I'm done developing the site and now I want to move it over to my live hosting account. So let's go ahead and first we're going to zip up the entire Joomla site files. Here's the folder. Now you can simply just select everything, the entire folder, and just go ahead and press uh, compress, which will give you a zip folder, a zip file. But you need to be careful if you're on a Mac, especially um, if you do that, you're going to end up with these these hidden files. And I've I've went ahead and displayed the uh, turned on the hidden files in my file system, and you'll see things like this DS store. These are Mac system files, and um, it's not a horrible thing if you have these in your Joomla directory but uh, I like to keep everything nice and clean and uh, exclude any system files or anything that was generated from my computer that I don't need on my live web host. Um, another thing if you're on a Mac um, it's sometimes if you zip using the uh, file browser right here you may end up with a weird um, some incompatible files or some some uh, permissions problems so what I like to do is zip the files up using terminal and it's pretty simple. I'll show you how to do it right here. So we'll just open terminal on our Mac. Um, now if you're on Windows um, you can probably just just right click and do the zip thing. Um, I think that's fine. This what I'm showing you right now kind of you know only applies to Mac users out there so sorry for Windows guys for making you sit through this. Feel free to fast forward. All right, so first we're going to open up Terminal. Uh, this is also found inside of your Applications Utilities folder. And I have a nice link bookmark here that shows exactly uh, the steps that we're going to do to get rid of these system files in our zip file. So um, first you wanna, you're want you going to want to navigate to your Sites folder. Um, if you're not already here in Sites, if you just see your computer's name and your username, then do CD sites and sites this is the location of my Joomla site within my on my on my computer so yours might be different um, obviously I'm already here at sites so the first step is uh, we're gonna type in zip space minus R and the file that we're going to be creating um, you can call it anything you want Kotoba demo zip and space. Next is the directory that we're going to be zipping up. So this one is called Kotoba test minus x. That means exclude. And we're going to exclude these files called ds store. Enter, and magic happens. Hopefully you'll see the same thing uh, you're seeing here on this video. It's creating a bunch of, or it's compressing a bunch of files into your zip, and uh, and here's the zip file we just created. All right, step one is done, out of the way. Now, uh, while we're still on localhost, we need to export our database. So let's do that next. So I, I'm using MAMP, as I showed you on my uh, on my other video. Um, we're going to go into PHP my admin. Okay, here's our databases. We're going to here on the sidebar go to the Kotoba test, which is our which was my database for that site. Okay, just hit export the export tab up here. Quick. Format is SQL, SQL. Let's see. I want to click on custom just to make sure that everything is selected. It should be. Um, all right.
right, everything looks good. Okay. And press go. And there we go, our Kotoba test.sql is right here. So let's, uh, now uh, the next step is to upload these files to your web host. So hopefully you have a web host. Uh, I use HostGator, I love HostGator, and uh, I host all my sites through them. So this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to do all this stuff through HostGator's cPanel. So if you're not using HostGator, if you're using another host, um, you might be on cPanel. cPanel is a is something that a lot of hosting companies use. If you're not, then uh, just try to follow along. Uh, some of these options are uh, pretty standard across all web hosts. So uh, hopefully, it's you know nothing is too different from from your hosting account. So let's go ahead and uh, go to my hosting cPanel. All right. So if you're on HostGator, your cPanel will just be your domain dot com or dot whatever, and then slash cPanel. I'll log in here. Alrighty. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our file manager and uh, open it at your web root. And inside of the folder public HTML, this is where we're going to upload that zip file. So just go ahead and press upload, choose file. And let it do its thing here. Depending on how, uh, how large your zip file was, could take a, a couple minutes. All right, when the upload is complete, just go back to where we came from. All right, and now we see this zip file, which we now need to unzip. So right up here, first you're gonna select it and then press extract. Yes, we wanna extract it. This is important, extract it to wherever you want the site to open up. So uh, if you want it to be at your domain.com, then it'll be in your public HTML folder. There we go. We can delete to the zip file now. It's important to keep your web server clean, by the way, on a side note. So uh, just, you know, you should delete that file after you've uh, after you've extracted it. Um, so depending on how you zipped up the file, you may end up with uh, yet another folder. So it's important to move all of your stuff to your root folder. So let's uh, go ahead and click on that folder, Kotopa test. Select everything. And just drag it to public HTML. And uh, once again, delete anything you don't need. So we're going to delete this Kotoba-test folder. Oh, um, cPanel's weird. You're going to have to do a lot of stuff here in the main pane. So main pane, that rhymes. Uh, Kotoba-test, here we go. Delete. All right, so there we go. Another step out of the way. Uh, the last step is to get our database all hooked up. So Let's go back into our cPanel and we're going to create a new database. Uh, you may have something called a MySQL database wizard or MySQL one, something down here. I actually have a couple video tutorials on how to uh, create your, your, um, your database on your live host. So uh, go ahead and check those out. Um, I'm going to do the the database wizard right here. So first, I'm gonna type in any name you want for your database. So Kotoba Joe demo. And the username, I like to keep things simple, keep the same username. Password, if you have this option of generating a password, go do it because uh, this is this will protect your site. 
by generating a very secure password that's hard to hack. So let's that looks pretty difficult. So uh, maybe not. This one's better. Okay. Make sure you actually copy this to a secure location. your database also and uh, this next step is also important we're going to grant all privileges to this user so we're creating a database and a user to access this database there we go all right, the next step is to import our database into uh, this newly created database, and we do that using PHP MyAdmin. Okay, databases. Here we have Toba Joe. Click on that, it's empty. And we're going to click on import, choose our file, and hit go. Hopefully you'll see this green successful message and your database tables will pop up right here. All right, so uh, the last step is to edit your configuration.php file, which uh, tells Joomla where to find the new database on your uh, on your hosting account. So back into the cPanel, we'll go we'll go back into the uh, file manager, and here under configuration.php. You'll we'll just press edit. Yes, 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 whatever, edit. All right, so here's what we're looking for. Um, your DB, database name. So first off, uh, this is our database name. And then our database user and our database password. So my user is the same as my database name. My big funky long extra secure password is right here. All right, just save that and close it. All right, cross your fingers. Let's see if our site is uh, is up now. Yeah, look at that. Here it is. Here is our site. We've successfully transferred the site. That was that wasn't too bad, was it? It was really simple. And that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and check out JoomlaDirect.com for more great beginner tutorials. I'm Scott Greenwald. We'll see you next time.